and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm, Jesus said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were filled with awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even wind and sea obey him? Now, if you are unfamiliar with a lectionary, we don't choose these readings. But a reading from the Old Testament, a New Testament letter, and the Gospel have been chosen for really hundreds of years. And they're on a cycle week after week. So this was predetermined way before any of us have been born. And yet the readings for this Sunday, I think, work perfectly with Vacation Bible School. That regardless of our circumstances, no matter who you are, no matter what other people are doing, no matter what else in the world is going on, that you can trust in God. That He can see you through these storms in life. Even the winds and the waves obey Him. Even the giants of this life. We do not battle alone, but the battle belongs to the Lord. That's what these kids have heard all week. That's what they have sung all week. When they've made crafts, played games, done goofy experiments, seen outrageous costumed characters. <laughs> that has been the point all week long. And it's been our privilege to have them here with us. So that together we might all be reminded that no matter what, we can trust in God. No matter what, we can trust in God. He is worthy of our trust. He has seen us through this life thus far. And there's no reason in the world why He's going to break His promise or let us down now. He who has brought us safe thus far can and will bring us safely home. So no matter what, we can trust in God. No matter what, we can trust in God. Kids, no matter what, trust God! Day one. The point of the day for day one was no matter who you are, trust God. People judge by outward, and the verse was people judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Samuel 16 7. Horrible day two. Point of the day, no matter how you feel, trust God. Verse of the day, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, John 14, 1. Point day, no matter what people do, trust God! Verse of the day, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. Isaiah 40, 31. Day four, point of the day, no matter what happens, trust God! And I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 30, 30. Day 5. Rocket. Point of the day. No matter where you are. Trust God! Verse of the day. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. of 
and that there are giants. Many of us have faced them already. Some of us are facing them now. All of us will face them at some point. You don't have to be a superhero to make it through. You don't have to be able to fly or use fantastical powers to stand against a storm and weather it. It just takes a solid rock. You don't have to be able to leap tall buildings or run faster than a speeding bullet to stand toe to toe against an insurmountable foe and still come out on top. Sometimes it is the simplest and the smallest things. And sometimes, truly as children who, are, who will lead the way. So parents and grandparents and parishioners, this time we need to listen to our kids. This time we need to learn from their experiences of this past week and be reminded of what we regularly need to be reminded about. That when the storms blow and when the giants roar, it's not about our strength and ability. It is about our faithfulness, our obedience, and our trust. For there is no storm too great for our Lord and no giant too big. No matter who you happen to be or what sort of storm you might be facing, no matter what, we can trust in God. The sky is indeed great. <coughs>